All right, guys. I mean, I should say, all right, fellas, it is the first track workout of the marathon training cycle and this is my first like long track workout I've done in years like literally a year and a half I think all of my other like track workouts have either been like tempo paced or like 300s so this is gonna be a lot different we're gonna be doing 12 400 today I can't even remember the last time I did 12 400s when I was at Oregon we would do like eight and that was the max but I mean we're training for the marathon here so obviously we got to go over a milers training <laughs> Um, if you can't tell, I'm very nervous. I'm, this is the most nervous I've been in a long time, and I don't, I don't even know how to contain it. I feel like I'm gonna yak. But that's okay, you know what, we're gonna get through it. So basically, this is a progressive workout, so that means that we're gonna start from slower, and the last one's gonna be the fastest, hopefully. That's the goal. We're gonna start off pretty slow at 94s, which I don't even know what mile pace that is. So 624 pace? No, 616 pace. No? No, wait. <laughs> Yeah, 616 pace. Gosh, I, I'm so bad at math. Anyways, okay, so we're starting off at 616 pace, and then we're working our way down progressively, each one by one second. So the goal is to end the workout at, at 82, and 82, I'm not kidding guys, is going to be an all out strength for me right now. Like all out, especially at the end, after 11 of them with, oh, I forgot if I already said 60 seconds rest. I, oh gosh, I haven't done a workout that has that short of rest in like <laughs> ever. It's gonna be interesting. This is like a tempo and a speed workout. I don't know how I'm gonna hold up. I feel good. I already ran two miles for my warm up, so I'm feeling pretty okay right now. But uh, yeah, and we also have uh, intern Michelle here. Michelle, what's up, girl? Hey. And Michelle offered to step in and help me if I need help. <laughs> so if part of the workout cuts out, that's because Michelle is literally running with me. I'm wearing the marathon hat for yeah. some uh, inspo today. <laughs> there we go. Let's, let's start off with some drills. I kind of already warmed up, actually, but we'll do some drills, you know, just for the content. Nice peg 36s, all right? You know we love those, or peg oil, but we have something special today, all right? We are debuting a new pair of angel wings on this channel. We've got the peg turbo two. I'm super excited. I've never run in these before. I've never run in a pair of peg turbos. I will say they're extremely light, and we'll see how we like them. Obviously, I love the pegs, and these are, these are meant for like faster workouts, so, or if you just like a lighter trainer. But yeah, so we're gonna try these bad boys on out. New pair of angel wings, come on. Please get me through this workout. <sighs> Should I too big? <laughs> that would be sad, I haven't tried them on, so. Lacing them up for the first time, ladies and gents. Oh yeah. I feel faster already. I'm gonna conquer this workout. So we're about to start. I guess I should do a stride. You know, I always do one stride, and not the biggest stride gal out here, but I guess I'll stride this way. So nervous! Turn it down, fans. Turn it down. I don't even know why I pumped myself up to try. Three miles of speed work. I'm walking way too confident to this. I'm about to get destroyed. Well, my arms all synced up. 94 seconds. I've never paced a 94 second 400. You guys know the key to running a fast marathon. You gotta stop talking and start sprinting. Four is easier than me. That was dumb. Alright, four seconds. Five seconds too fast. Alright. Alright, that was a short 60 seconds. Oh, 
gosh, I can't, can't nail down that pace. Ah. So we got four done, eight more to go. This one's a nice, crisp six min pace. I think we got it right, Michelle. Oh yeah. All right, we just ran a 27. Supposed to run a 90. I'm really screwing myself over for this one, guys. Go too fast. Oh well. Gotta do what you gotta do. This one. And we're halfway done. Shoot, base, shoot. Michelle, why am I doing this myself? <laughs> Literally, why? Now I have to rip a 70 for the last one. Just kidding. That's 44. You can run 44s. Like, you got this. later, meaning like in the next two. 87. but that wasn't that bad. This was a workout I was really psyching myself out for and Michelle was like, come on, dude. Michelle really helped me get through that. If I was by myself, I think I would have died, but Michelle even offered to run with me. If that, if that's not true intern spirit, I don't know what is. Take over for the team, but we didn't need her today. I'm sure we're gonna need her another time. Last one, 121. I haven't run 520 pace in a long time. Like, probably a full year. 60 seconds rest, a lot shorter than I would have enjoyed. But we got it done. That's typical tempo track workout training. A shoe review. All right, so here are the shoes, obviously. I like them. They're nice and light. They're a lot better than the pegs for these track routes. It did get a little hot, but I think that's because it's like literally really hot outside. And I wear socks, obviously. But yeah, we'll wear them again for sure. But we'll use them for speed work, not for regular road runs. We'll stick to my peg 36s over there. For those, also my slides, obviously, for recovery and fashion. I'm gonna go cool down two miles. I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. Enjoyed seeing me through pain, but enjoying it all, obviously. You gotta keep it fun out here. <laughs> Especially when you're running alone, or else it gets really boring and hard. So, smash like on this video. If you wanna see more track workouts from me, cause I'm sure we have more coming up. We're about 12 weeks out from the marathon. Wow, we're really getting in the thick of it. And fellas, let me go cool down and catch my breath. See you in the next one. Peace out. Ah, my stitches. Peace out. <laughs>